Hey YouTube, I'm gonna do uh, do an axe hanging here tonight. Uh, it's after supper. It's starting to get a little dark out. I think the camera will pick it up. I my old axe heads that I've done before on uh, my first channel. I've soaked them in vinegar, but this one here isn't in bad shape. Uh, these are both heads from a neighbor of mine. Uh, I told him I'd rehang them for him. I found a handle. It's an ash handle. Needs uh, needs a little sanding, but the grains. Will that focus for me? There, uh, the grains running perfect in it. The other end, it's fair. The the relief in it is off to one side, but that's all right. Uh, I can work with that. Um, it's all in the way you way you hang your head. It, I'd I would prefer it to be in the center, but what can you do, right? It's hard to find good handles right now. Anyway, I thought I'd uh, I got a new new drill. Picked up a little grinding wheel. I'm gonna try and clean that up with the grinding wheel instead of soaking it in vinegar. I'm gonna get at it and, and show you how I make it out here. Now that's uh, that's starting to clean up, not bad. It's getting dark out here. You guys are gonna be have a hard time to see. That's what it started out like. That's the side I haven't done. That side's finished. I'll touch that up with some sandpaper when we get inside. Uh, I'm gonna do the handle this this I'm gonna hang this tonight I gotta I gotta sharpen it yet I uh, picked myself with my knife a while ago I gotta sharpen this yet and uh, I gotta sand it down sharpen it do the handle fit the handle and uh, I want to have this done tonight the other one the head on the other one, the eye is about the same size as one of my vintage axes I got, so I got to try and find two handles for those, one for myself and one for him. Uh, his uh, head's in a lot better shape than mine is, but uh, my old my my old axe there, it's it's old old and the poles beat, and but it's better steel, right? There now that that head cleaned up pretty well. There's still. Uh, to get it in this light there's still a little bit of discoloration on it but this is going to be a, a using axe he's going to use this so I ain't getting right to that dark there that's not rust I'm running my fingernail across it you can hear there's no uh, it's not catching it's just uh, it's just stained metal I put some linseed on it too just to uh, stop any any rusting from the current I'm gonna uh, I'm gonna hang this handle and I'm gonna do a one week treatment of linseed oil every day for one week and then after that you should do it once a month for a year and then uh, as needed anyway all right I'll show you the tools I use for for hanging a hammer or uh, an axe that's an 18 ounce hammer I use that it's got a nice smooth flat head I know I shouldn't use it for beating my beating my uh, handle in but that's what I do use It's it's got a big head on it it doesn't seem to, to mar or damage the handle at all An old farrier's rasp for uh, for shaving down the handle to fit it into the head. Bastard file for sharpening it. I haven't sharpened it yet. That's coming. Bottle of linseed oil. I, I coat the head and the handle in that. Just regular old sandpaper for touching up the head and the, the handle. Give it a nice uh, 
nice sand down to make it smoother now waiter fan you're gonna uh, you're gonna appreciate this I was telling him in a video of his he was restoring an old Stanley number six plane I believe um, take a look at that that's a lot smaller than a number six I had done work for a woman right around Christmas one time and uh, did a little bit of handy work for her and she didn't didn't really have the money to pay at the time and felt bad about it and came across she had half a dozen planes and I may have struck a deal with her I was happy and she was happy when I left so yeah you can't beat that when, uh, when you can make a trade for for doing something and helping somebody out so uh, the axe is home Turned out well. Could have shouldered a little bit more, but it's fine. She stayed pretty straight. That uh, that handle does have a little bend in it. I didn't notice before I put the put the uh, the head on it, but uh, it should do should do the trick. All I got left to do is sharpen it and put the linseed oil on it, and I'm done. Anyway, thanks for watching. Have a good.